Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me before work and I film these occasionally. It's been a while since I've done one though because they're very hard to squeeze in in the morning and I firmly believe that they are utterly pointless if they are not real. So this was filmed on a real pre-work morning and my work mornings recently have started with a very generous delivery of caffeine from my boyfriend because he's been getting up a little bit earlier than I I have to train for a run. I get up around 6.45. This was actually around 6.40, so a couple of minutes before my alarm actually rang. And it's nice to have those couple of sips of caffeine in a relaxed way and some cuddles with BB, of course. And you'll see there are many BB interruptions throughout my morning, but those make for fun intermissions to my getting ready process. I always try and make the bed as soon as I get out of it because otherwise I find it just doesn't happen and it helps me to start to feel together and like things are getting done. If you're curious about my pajamas, I'm obsessed with Eberge. They are pricey but worth it in my opinion and I also absolutely love my robe from Ugg that I got last winter and I've been wearing it non-stop. It's really soft and warm and having a robe handy also really helps to get me going in the morning because I tend to run cold as soon as I wake up. I apologize for my foggy mirror, but it is a result of splashing from my Clarisonic, which I have been loving recently, um, to get rid of any kind of flaky dry skin. And same thing with my toothbrush, it also kind of splashes everywhere as well. Next up is makeup. I do do my makeup before I have breakfast because I just prefer to have it done. And I can do the whole routine that I'm about to show you in about 20-25 minutes. First step is moisturizer. I do eye cream from La Mer and then my Shiseido Beneficience Wrinkle Resist Day Cream which has an SPF that I consider to be sufficient for winter time in the office. It's not like I'm getting too much UV exposure at my desk. Um, so I go ahead and smooth a thin layer onto my skin patting everything in for maximum absorption and it also creates a really nice base for the foundation that I'm going to use today which is more full coverage I have wax lyrical about the Clinique um, acne BB cream which is my daily usual product but I wanted to do a little bit more of a full face of makeup for this tutorial so I went ahead and used my Laura Mercier which I have been loving for special occasions and meetings and I had a meeting um, via video conference and I tend to try and put a little bit more effort into my face on those days so I go ahead and conceal any little blemishes and especially redness around my nose with my clay de peau concealer and then I've actually recently been loving cream bronzer this is the Chanel um, tan de soleil and it really is nice for a light amount of color and I've been using it for the past few months now and I follow it up with a nice a bright blush from Dior. This is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush and a must-have for me as I told you in my Sephora haul where I bought a backup is the NARS eye primer followed up by something to cover up the veininess of my eyelids which is something that shows through even some eyeshadows I've been absolutely loving my Natasha Denona number no. four palette it is full of gorgeous metallics like this metallic really unusual white that really brightens the inner eye corner followed up by a rose gold that is so so shiny and brightening it looks almost liquid but it's actually just a really creamy pigmented powder which I apply all over the lid and then I really try to keep it matte for the rest of the eye look so I've been reaching a lot for my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette um, it's nice that I'm mentioning this as well because I think it's such a good basic to consider for the Sephora sale I've heard that the repackaged version is actually even better so um, definitely one of my all-time favorite easy for work mornings eye palette before I had the Natasha Denona I would pretty much just use this one alone or this one and my Tom Ford Coco Mirage in combination I then follow it up with some brows which makes such a big difference to the face so I do put a little bit of extra work into them um, so I'm using Tom Ford for the pencil then Anastasia to set the pencil um, with a little bit of powder which I just kind of brush through it adds a little bit more kind of of a lush look to the eyebrow and then I set all of my hard work so that it will last all day even through a workout with the Maybelline brow gel curl my lashes and then it's time for a little cuddle intermission 
Kristen. I did warn you. Um, she comes and visits me throughout my entire get ready process, which I love. I'm then using my Stila liquid liner, which is so great. I wish they still had Stila in Sephora stores because it's such a good brand. Um, this is one of the best liquid liners I've ever used, and I love that it's a dark brown because it's a little bit less harsh for work and a little more subtle. Um, and I like to blend that in and make it even more subtle with a little bit of dark brown shadow from that Natasha Denona palette. Following up is my favorite concealer of all time. This is the YSL All Hours, which I so highly recommend. You can see how light it is. It's not a thick, um, opaque concealer, but it still has a ton of coverage, and the best part of it is that it just does not crease. So since this was filmed prior to my Sephora haul, I was still using the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara, which is my favorite drugstore mascara. And I've been loving good old Champagne Pop from Becca as a nice over-the-top highlight for a little extra glow under those office lights. And I always love the YSL Tint in Oils for work because even after you finish your coffee and have some breakfast, you're left with a nice moisturized looking stain, which is just so easy and it makes me feel like I only really need to reapply my lip product once after lunch or in the afternoon and even then I notice that there's still a nice amount of color to my lips. I don't tend to style my hair fully in the morning, I do that at night, but I like to do a little touch up um, every day or every other day in between washes just to redefine any curls that have gotten a bit frizzy, especially with the humidity. And to refresh my hair if it's looking a little bit greasy or a little bit flat, I like to use the Orbe spray. It just makes such a huge difference without that powdery feel of dry shampoo. For perfume, pretty much on repeat I've been wearing Coco Mademoiselle and it's the one time in the morning that BB keeps her distance because perfume is stinky, to her at least. I then go and consult what I've set up for work and I usually pre-plan my outfit the night before or at least part of it. So today I just had um, my blazer laid out that I knew I would want to wear for my meeting. And then I have some breakfast before getting dressed because spilling food on myself is something that um, I am definitely prone to. So I'm having granola and I'll list the recipe for you down below in case you haven't heard me um, chime in about it before. It's one of my favorite breakfast recipes with some milk and some berries. And I just have that with a glass of water and make sure that I kind of finish a full glass of water before I head off for work. Cause that just puts me in a good place hydration wise. I believe in food over vitamins but I do take a couple, vitamin D uh, mainly, collagen and biotin, which I have found is helping my hair to grow out um, quicker than it usually would. And then I put my suit wear on or office appropriate outfit and then it's time for jewelry and I always put my pearls on after my perfume and other products like hair products have had a chance to sink in because they can really damage the luster of freshwater pearls. I'm actually um, twisting two of my strands worn short today so that's the classic white and the lavender twisted together along with the lavender pendant earrings and the lavender bracelet which I've just attached from the necklace to wear separately and I have kind of practiced and perfected putting it on myself which is no joke it's actually really hard to put bracelets on yourself um, then after that it's time to pack my lunch and I always make sure I take it out of the fridge when I make my breakfast because I cannot tell you how many times I've forgotten my lunch and in there I also have a banana and I've got my swell bottle as well which has got some lemon in it and it's time to say goodbye to BB which is always very sad but she's kind of adapted really well to my professional lifestyle we hang out together whenever we have the chance basically and then my outfit it is ready to go so I thought I would give you a quick look at it. I am wearing my Ferragamo Vera Pumps, my very favorite halogen trousers, a Rebecca Taylor blazer paired with my now back in stock Parisian navy scarf although probably not for long it's been selling out quick um, and my Provence lavender is also back in stock. I decided to pull out my Chanel chevron flat for a little bit of extra dressiness and of course I'm carrying my Long Chateau with all of my other essentials that I wouldn't put in my fancy handbag and that is my whole routine pretty much every step along the way um, you've kind of joined me for today so thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed my real life get ready with me if you did then make sure 
sure you give it a like and consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next installment on style. Bye!